have Lewis Anderson here from Dazzly Website Builder, and he's going to be talking about websites for rural service businesses. Now, a lot of Aotearoa does have a rural aspect to it, so this will be really applicable to all you folks out there. And uh, as a reminder, you can ask Lewis questions throughout the session or at the end of the session by using the chat function, the Q&A function, and the comment section. Um, Lewis is great at answering questions, so personable and relatable. So please make these sessions work for you. Ask him a few questions. So that's it from me, Lewis. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I know you always have really great content for us here on Digital Boost. Sure. Hey, Anamari. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> I'll just share my screen. Please let me know if that, uh, if that is all working okay. I've got a couple of windows, so you should see the PowerPoint. Yes. Great. I do. Okay. Yep, perfect. Right. Great. Okay. Thanks yeah. for that. Hey, yeah, so uh, the topic is websites for rural service businesses. Uh, my name's Lewis Anderson. I'm a co-founder of DC Website Builder. Uh, once again, just want to say thank you um, to both Anna Murray and to Digital Boost uh, for this great opportunity. Uh, I'm really excited to have something to deliver um, in this particular session for our uh, rural-based businesses out there in New Zealand. And uh, as always, uh, it's a good talk here, but you can supplement it with other material uh, that you'll find on Digital Boost as well. So a little bit of background about myself, uh, nine plus years in the business of custom website, mobile app and software development. Uh, all sides of businesses, just about all industries, and a lot of time spent on site, uh, forming a genuine understanding of my clients' businesses. Uh, strong growth until 2020, uh, then we released Dazzly, and uh, growing even stronger now, we're helping our uh, orders of magnitude more businesses uh, from all around New Zealand, which we're all delighted with. A uh, little bit more recent background, uh, very recently I've been made a member of the Digital East Alliance, which we're very proud of at Dazzly. And of course, we're a New Zealand made uh, company as well. And this week, it happens to be our spotlight week uh, on Digital Boost. So we're, we're really thankful for that. And uh, we hope you enjoy the talk and uh, check out some of our content and of course, uh, Desley itself as well. So the age old question of how to get a website and how to do it right. Uh, in this talk, the structure and the context, of course, is about rural businesses and in particular those that are service providers. So how does this question apply to them? Um, you know, whether you're a new business or an existing business, or whether you have a large marketing budget or, or you don't, the, the truth is, is that if you follow the advice in this guide and you set up an online presence for your business, it, this will really show you how to do it to make it correctly function as a marketing asset. And, and what I mean by a, a marketing asset is that it will correctly represent your business and in the medium term, it will generate you inquiries, leads, that, that you can essentially turn into sales to, to keep the lights on in your business and food on the table. So it might sound a little bit hand wavy, um, but the results that you'll get from this process are very concrete. And uh, I'll show them how to do it. I'll show you how to do it for your business. So um, the structure of the talk is first, um, we're going to look at some considerations uh, specific to rurally located businesses. Uh, second, we'll look at some considerations for service-specific businesses. Um, we're going to have a very short discussion about the customer's point of view and why it matters to you. Um, then we'll discuss why niche or specific services um, can make life a little bit easier for you in terms of online competition. We'll have a very light discussion on SEO specifics. Um, then we'll show a short demo as well as some customer examples. So there is a fair bit to cover and uh, definitely welcome uh, any questions at the end. Um, that should be the, the basic structure. So what sort of businesses does this advice apply to? Well, it applies to service businesses in rural areas, as obvious, but it also applies to others as well. And, and chances are it applies to your business. If you are a service business, the same considerations will be valid for you as well. It's just that if you're rurally located, there's some particularly um, advantageous things you can do if you're in a rural location or a low population location. So let's, let's jump into the meat of that. And, and I realize there is quite a bit of theoretical and discussion at the front of this talk, but uh, when we get to the end and see the, the demo and the customer examples, it'll, it'll give you a more concrete idea of, of how to implement it. So the rural location considerations, um, as I said, no matter where your business is, 
Uh, all of these things are true. It's just if you're really located, uh, there's some particular emphasis you, you should be aware of. So what difference does it make if you're rurally located? Well, on average, um, somewhat by course of the definition, a rural location is a location with less population density, um, perhaps with less universities or population centres. And it's not obviously across the board, but in some areas of technology, rural locations are leading the way. And in other areas of technology, including web development, sometimes they're, they're not leading the way. And I think that the truth is, is that when you engage a, a local website provider in a rural area, um, in my you know, almost 10 years experience of being in this industry is even non-rural areas across the board in New Zealand, you're likely to get a website on previous generation of technology. In some rural areas, unfortunately, it can even be the, tech, not the generation before that. Whereas in our business, we've always focused on delivering the, the highest end, the latest technologies. And with Dazzly now, you can get those for your small business, um, even if you're in the rural area. But I don't, I don't want to press that point too much. I just think the main point is, is that if you are located rurally, other businesses around you will have used local website providers and they may have been made websites, um, admittedly, some time ago on older technology. This generally means that they, they might not be quite as competitive as websites in, in, um, in areas where they have uh, more up-to-date website expertise. And uh, that's just the fact that they're, they're, their clients may be known as well. So I guess the other main point is that around digital competition. On average, it's lower. It's not across the board. You may find some very rural specific services is high competition for, but generally speaking, my experience, uh, websites in rural areas are a little bit older on average, a little bit less updated on average, and generally um, they haven't really been showing much love. So it is getting a little bit ahead on the talk, but just to sort of frame things, what we're trying to do is identify areas in your in your local rural market where the competition are not, not doing well and representing themselves and making the websites visible online. And the reason for that is, is we want to build up your new website as an authoritative source for particular things your customers will search for so that you can get ahead, get some visibility in your early years of business and actually start generating some income through your website. So uh, some must-dos. And, and I will emphasize, I will repeat these at the end. Um, so, and, and I'll show examples as well. So must-dos, when you're thinking about your, your business website, really do pick your specific service area. Um, in some ways, the more specific, the better. So whether it's a city, a town, a suburb, uh, push that on your website and push the focus, you know, particular focus pages, particular article pages. Again, examples to come. Uh, make sure on your home page, right at the start, there's prominent text, you know, excellent plumbing, excellent home plumbing in New Plymouth, for example. You may want to open with something like that to give the search engine a really good idea of your location area. Um, there are some things such as uh, home page, uh, home excuse me, title settings and description settings, which may sound like technical things, but again, um, I'll show you how easy it is with Dazzly to get that information in there. And um, setting up a Google for Business account, which again, we'll show an example of later and collecting reviews, is absolutely essential. Um, when you're rurally located, and uh, you'd know this yourself when you've maybe been on holiday somewhere, you're looking for a, maybe even a local cafe, where you look at your phone and you'll see put cafe and where you are into, into your search engine and you'll see a map pop up there on your phone and some businesses will pop out on that map. The reason why they pop out, it's not because they spend more money on their website. It's because they've taken the time to go and get reviews from local customers that are making the search engine pop up and recommend them to people on mobile devices. So bear in mind this, this is all free and it's extremely advantageous in, in your first years of business, particularly when the existing competition are not doing a great job of this. So collecting those reviews is important. The next thing is um, because we want to associate your website with the local proximity as well, is um, what we really want to do is if there's any opportunity for a local newspaper, local business association, or any other um, perhaps a partner business that you work with to put a link back to your website, that will really as well help hone in the search engine's eyes that your business, whatever it may be, is associated with this particular area, which, which will help you all around. So some service provider specific considerations. So um, 
with services a, a lot of the the same things are true whether it is product or service you really do need a strong fundamental base for your website so for example as sort of mentioned before when you're doing near me searches or, or looking for something with a close proximity you really want to make sure um, that you will will jump out and give a really good first first impression so having that google for business is essential for that um, the next thing is that we really want your service pages to rank well as well. So when we do make a service page, which we'll show you an example of, we'll show you setting up uh, the settings correctly on that page and some guidance on the words you can put in there to really hone in the fact that you have a specific page dedicated to the specific service in your specific area. So must-dos in terms of service providers, and again, it will be repeated again, um, yeah, hone in that specific um, niche, the service niche, not just the area niche. You must get reviews from your customer because, of course, an intelligent search engine will know approximately where those customers are based as well, so that additional information will help. Um, ask your customer to give the review uh, on a tablet if possible. The more reviews you can click, the better, so try to make it easier for them. Of course, you can get a reviews link too. And another thing that isn't mentioned so much is that when you do do jobs, assuming it's appropriate, be sure to take a photo of your work and put that up on your website as well, as once again, an intelligent search engine will know uh, the location of where that, that photo was taken and will take that into consideration. So if you happen to be both a service provider and rurally based, this stuff is really important and will make all the difference to you in your first year's business if, if you do it right. And I guess a, a small note um, on that as well is that uh, good things do take time. And even with a really strong, fundamentally set up website like Audacity, um, you, you will still take a number of weeks before you will actually get indexed in Google. Sometimes it can be a little bit quicker. But it, even with that in mind, it's, um, it does all take time to build these things up. If there's even less competition, you might find that you, you do suddenly jump to page one for a particular term. But, but on average, um, you build up, you get a base reputation, and then you produce more articles and content and, and set this up. And I guess the reason for the pause here is, is more so that um, if you're considering whether you should or shouldn't get a website, I, I would tell you today that we'll show you examples, or rather I will show you an example in just a moment from customers that have spent um, certainly less than $100 in the first instance and have established a successful online presence. So. Um, if you are both rurally located and a service provider, I, I really couldn't emphasize this enough. It's, um, it's a decision you really won't regret down the track and um, it'll make a world of difference in your first year of business. So just quickly, um, thinking from the customer standpoint, we're, we're almost through the, the theory here and we'll get to some of the practical. So we need to think about your customers. Um, who are they and, and what would they search um, on, on search engines? So um, there is a talk on this already, so I won't, I won't dive too deep, but essentially we just need to put yourself in the shoes of the customer and say, okay, um, what will they search? Now, let's be realistic with the keywords. For example, if we put electrician New Zealand, that's going to be quite difficult for you to get visibility in your first year of your electrical businesses. There'll be understandably a lot of competition on that too. However, if we got a little bit less specific and maybe did um, electrician Manawatu, that could help if you're based in Manawatu because they, there might be naturally some less competition there. And then maybe to get a little bit more specific, maybe home electrical maintenance Manawatu. In that sense, there's probably very few companies that are actively trying to represent for the specific phrase or keyword. And that just by having that phrase and keyword written naturally in a natural way on your website will really help the, the search engine evaluate your website as an authority for that too. So I think the, the main point here is that we want to focus on things that the customer would actually type into the search engine. We only want to pick a small handful of terms. We don't want to make it too complicated. And I think we just want to make them not too ambitious. Get some of these lower hanging fruit in, in terms of the, um, the more niche terms. So a very specific one, um, for example, if, if you're an accountant, small business tax accounting, Wanganui, um, that may even be a little bit too niche, but without actually having gone and checking that market, I would assume there's not a ton of competition there. Those would be the sort of terms you could use. Um, complementary terms to that may be um, you know, accounting, Wanganui, small business accounting, Wanganui, um, tax return filing on the way, just things around that where you can um, you can really start to build a base presence, which will be 
be easier and more realistic to attain in the medium term. And then after that, later on, you can write articles about more specific issues, maybe about things in the North Island, for example, and see if you can acquire some more customers from, from further away as, as your business expands. The main thing is, uh, for this point, is just think about what the users would type in, if, uh, the customers, sorry, if they were searching for your business. And don't get too bogged down in all the technical details because, um, as you see at the moment, if you use Dancely, it's, it's all taken care of uh, for you. So why does this all matter? Uh, these are low-hanging fruit opportunities. And it is an early, as a new or early business uh, or a business looking for new customers, um, you should really be taking advantage of this. Uh, there are opportunities out there right now to spot websites in, in your industry, in your area um, that are underperforming and you can get right in there and, and get your business represented about them, get the visibility and get the leads. And I'll show you some examples of this in, in just a moment. Um, yeah, again, just re-emphasizing, if you do have a niche service, it's better. It's, uh, it's more realistic and attainable to rank for a niche in the short to medium term uh, than for a, a full-blown national keyword. And what is all this, the CCO works? So as I said, we don't need to get too bogged down with the details and we're just going to lightly touch on this. Um, but I'm just going to talk about some of the tasks that you would want to perform periodically. And then that uh, that will really be the end of it. And then we'll jump into some, some demo and some concrete examples. So um, for a more comprehensive answer on this, we have an SEO guide on our website that shows you pretty much exactly what to do if you're using Gasly. It's very easy. Um, additionally, if you can't be bothered reading that, we have YouTube video where I will talk through the article for you. So that's some uh, somewhat easy listening. Now we'll just to run down quickly though, as I said, I'm just going to touch on it. Um, things that you, you must do is uh, set up a website with Dazzly and put some of those basic SEO settings in, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, ensure you've got the Google My Business profile set up for visibility, um, just and also to appear reputable when people put in your, your name directly in search engines. Um, next, have the, the Google for Business to collect the reviews. As I've said, that could be very essential for um, in-person service providers and proximity-based searches. And then get the link back, get the links back, excuse me, from other local organizations so that you can build up a, a local presence in the search engine's eyes. And the other thing is, is writing articles. So if you're, a, if you're an expert, uh, maybe it's in animal hygiene, then you'd be writing a blog on you know, the top 10 animal hygiene problems in Wanganui. And then for people that uh, want to get their animals washed or perhaps you know, hygiene related services, then you will be someone who will appear as a credible uh, thing in the search engine's eyes and hopefully they will evaluate your website rank to be high for, for those sorts of services. So it really is about periodically over time using your expertise to write good content on your website and luckily with Dazzly you don't have to think about all the technical stuff because our software simply takes that content and puts it in the place that will be advantageous for you from a technical standard. So um, yeah, those, those are the basics for SEO. And as I said, there's an extended guide and, and video there if, if you want some more on that. And of course, we have our, our digital based expert talks as well. Uh, again, just one final point. We're going to find this content. Um, if you're not sure what to write about, customer success stories, um, technical knowledge, um, talk to other suppliers you work with, um, understand the common problems or common concerns your customer may have, and write your opinion on these things. That can really help you get, kick things off. Um, we've even had some customers, um, they've done the history of their service in New Zealand and given, you know, quite a comprehensive long form article on it. Um, the articles don't always have to be that long. And again, you can look for specific guidance, but um, there's a lot of work that can be done here. It doesn't cost any money, just takes your time and effort um, and you get some really good results. So um, again, digital boost expert talks have a lot more to say on me than this, but um, definitely give that a watch and uh, you can use Dazzly to implement some of the things you, you learn in the other talks. So as I said, that, that's great, um, but how can we actually implement it and use it for your business? So um, as I said, you can look out for a local website provider and tell them all this stuff. Um, you'll have to go for a lot of extra overhead and communications, or you can use a modern website builder. Uh, New Zealand has several options for those, Dazzly uh, being one of them. And uh, we offer a 30 day trial and also a great, uh, a great offer for Digital Boost members, which is at the end as well. So we'll jump through, how can I actually implement it? So I will show you a demo and this is obviously a pre-recorded video. Now, please let me know if this, this doesn't appear on the screen. 
Now, it's a pre-recorded video, and I'm going to put it on mute. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch it. I'm assuming that's, that's appearing okay, but please let oh. me know if it isn't. No. Maybe stop uh, your share and reshare. Yeah, I think sure. that's right, because it's in a different browser, I'm sure. That's the one. Yeah. No, it's all good. You know what? Videos. This is this is the story with videos, eh? Okay, perfect. Is that looking better? Um, so yeah, let me check it. Let's let's check the sound, Lewis. Well, I'm actually going to keep it on mute, Anna Marie, because perfect. Um, okay. Yeah, this is actually a pre-recorded video um, with me guiding you through building your first service-based website. The reason I'm putting it on mute is because um, one, you can you can watch this anytime you like. It's available on YouTube, and two, because um, the because what we're going to place the emphasis on is showing you where we would use that that basic information for SEO purposes in Dazzly. So I'll just play the video now. We'll start on the website, and I uh, ignore me in the corner there. But this is simply a case you'd sign up uh, using our sign up form for a for a service based website. With our service warrior two template, it's very popular. But we'll just show you signing up the form there. So basically, with Desley, all you need to do is put in the text in the videos, and we take care of all the the technical stuff in the background with our software. So just step through this. Some of it will have immediate relevance to SEO. Some of it won't. As you can see, it's quite a straightforward interface where you just, as I said, simply put your things in. You can press the green button in the corner and it puts the website together. But as I said, we'll just step through and focus on the SEO elements of this video. So the company logo, you can see you just simply drop a logo in there. That's how easy it is to put it on. Just before we save that, you'll note here there's a short description of the image. Now, this isn't um, an exceptional SEO opportunity, but it is an opportunity where you could just go, oh, Peninsula Builders, and then the service area. Once again, just to hone the fact that that is the company name, but with the logo, I wouldn't go too over the top. Um, I'll give a slightly further explanation to that in a moment. Um, obviously, the colors don't have much SEO benefit, but you can see how easy it is to select a color scheme for your website. Just something you select the blue there, and then we'll get a slightly lighter shade of blue which will be nicer for the branding and the next thing we will do is look at the background photo which this has a bit more relevance so um, with Desley if you don't have your own photos prepared you can use a stock image library we have New Zealand photos as well as integrations with, with a number of providers um, in this case what we're looking for is actually a photo of a house which you'll see we are able to find in just a moment but what's what's most important about this is that ideally you would use a photo that you've taken from from a job that you know you've done under under your company and your in your service area so you might ideally not use stock for this but what we're doing before we save that image is again i'll draw your attention to this short description here of, of the image now in this case there is quite a lot of seo relevance here ideally what we'd be doing in addition to having an original photo that you've taken would be writing something on the lines of Peninsula Builders, new, uh, excuse me, this is the home description, so we've put new home build, um, perhaps by Peninsula Builders in service area. So in this case, it's South Auckland, but it, it could just as easily be Southland. Now that text is not shown to your customers. That description text is taken and it's it's placed in exactly where it needs to be technically which in this case is, is the alt tag to be associated with the image. So unlike other software, you don't have to go looking for that difficult SEO setting. In, in this case, you do have to write some extra text in, um, but in many cases, as you'll see in a moment, you don't even have to fill in an extra field. It just does the work simply as you, as you type in the information you otherwise would. We'll just save this here and go into introduction text. So, so as I said before, we'd want to emphasize the service line and the area here. In this case, we've got building company in the word Auckland. Again, it could have just as easily been any location in New Zealand. We'll save that. The tagline, it's a little bit more text here. So again, we can put something here, but generally I try to emphasize um, something short for the tagline. So we do have a brand statement below. It can be a bit more punchy. Um, now the main focus will be the services section. So for every service you enter, it'll actually make a custom page um, with a focus specific on that service. So a lot of the information we use here, we're at a service page now. For example, even the service title here will automatically be used for SEO purposes. So we actually got to type that in, new builds. Now, we have to keep it a bit simple because of course that is the, the title will be shown on the service menu. We'll put some photos in. And as we go to write the contents of the page, we use the term new builds again. 
And in our description on the page, we're going to be mentioning the word Nobels, we're going to be mentioning the service area, and of course, we're going to be putting some nice text to give a good fundamental first impression of the business. Now, this is another image we'll be using on the page. Again, you can see there's an opportunity for a short description. In this video, we're simply setting up the website, but if we're doing more SEO, we we'll again put, um, you know, home under construction in Southland um, with scaffolding up, something like that. So the search engine would, would know that this is about new home construction. Again, we'll talk about property development, which is a related term here. Put some information about the service area in there and associated background. Again, ideally we put a description for that image too. And this text here, again, forming the page, but uh, in the background, we'll magically take a lot of this text you're putting in and uh, put it really where it needs to be on the back of the website for SEO purposes. So in this case, the website has a couple of different service offerings. We won't uh, repeat this over and over. It was really just to show that you, when you do set up a service specific page on Dazzly, there's a lot of good stuff going on in the background there. Um, you don't have to go looking for all these complicated settings. Now I'll just skip for here. Excuse me for two. So you can just see here, we're just gonna, we'll just show you the rest of the build so you can see how the software works, but we'll just show a short brand statement. So something a bit punchy there, um, don't have to be too SEO. Uh, a nice team photo, and this is more on the lines of just giving that professional, uh, friendly, you know, first impression that you want. Obviously based off the nature of your business, if it is service and it is in person, you really want to be putting yourself forward as a, as a reputable, trustworthy provider. And uh, again, a lot of that can come from the about text, having a long form description of your business, your values, your qualifications, and your staff. Um, back to that, that base first impression, which um, at the end of the day, you can do all the technical factors. If you don't have a, a nice looking presence um, description, then uh, it's, it's always going to be harder to generate those initial leads. Now, what I'll do in this point is just draw your attention to a couple of other sections here. Just pull this here. So we have, excuse me, we have the articles page, which as I said, I'll show you an example in a moment and how, um, in fact, Peninsula is using those to rank. Uh, we also have the testimonials page. So testimonials is, is really interesting. We really heavily suggest that in addition to Google reviews, you get testimonials from your customers. But what's, what's really important is that when they leave those testimonials, if they can mention the type of service and the service area in their testimonial, that's really good. But if they can't, if they're comfortable with having, um, for example, um, Jason did a great, great job painting my house, um, A plus service from Jan in the Hawks Bay. So if, if you can't mention it in the testimonial, I say, oh, it was from Jan in the Hawke's Bay. We don't have to say where Jan lives, just, just Hawke's Bay is, is sufficient. And um, that way, again, we're getting more association with the Hawke's Bay and your, your painting services in this case. Um, the next thing I'd like to draw your attention to, so you've got the articles. As I said, we can write um, some stuff on that. We'll show you some examples. But the next thing I'll draw your attention to down here is, is page settings. So this is really important. Um, for every page that you have on your website, You've probably heard the many SEO providers, and as I said before, you need to set a title, tag, and a, and a meta description. And those things can sound a little bit intimidating. With Dazzly, it's really easy. You just simply click on the, some, the page setting. You've got your title right there, your description right there, and it even gives you guide or guidance on how many characters to write in. But the real simple trick is, is you just make sure for each of those pages that it has the base description of the service you're offering and your service area are in there. And that, that is a very vital step and you'll be well on your way to um, getting your SEO on the right track. Now we'll just step through. So I'll show you the rest just to put it up. So in this case, um, you know, like many builders who have partner businesses um, that you work with. So it's obviously very easy just to upload their logos here um, to help get across the best first impression. So I'll skip through this a little bit because we're just adding, adding partner logos here. And it is true for each of these logos, you could add um, the name as the description, excuse me. So add the partner logos, this will be showing you the testimonials. So see, do an excellent job. We'll make sure that the author there and the, and the location, just skip through, skip through. So add a few of these in as well. Next, we would go to gallery. So gallery is an interesting one. Um, if the nature of your work is such that, um, you know, it can be photogenic and people would enjoy looking at it, obviously we really do encourage people to, to add photos to their website. Um, in this case, 
it's quite interesting. We, we have a caption which will overlay on the photo, which you'll see in the customer example at the end. But that, that is also a place for SEO relevance. So in this case, I'd recommend just, again, the service type. So maybe deck or new deck or deck renovation, and then the service area, in this case, it would be all point. I reckon you do that for a few of your gallery because I've um, seen some really good results um, across all of New Zealand when people do um, nice galleries, or put all sorts of images and put a description of the service there. So just let us go through this and we'll show you the, the website that comes at the end. Also as well, you know, showing some work on there and having some other things such as the health and safety considerations are again aid to that, that genuine first impression. So now we'll publish the website. And uh, bear in mind, this, is, this isn't a real um, customer example. Peninsula Love is a real company, but this, this is just a, a mock website for them. You'll see their real website in a moment. It's, it's just for the example. So just let this load through. And that's really all it takes. We've made the first website with Dazzly. We'll view the preview. And you can see here, we've got a nice comprehensive website with your service specific pages. You've got your photos in the background there. And although it's a draft, it's all uh, off to a good start in terms of uh, coming together. So I'll pause this video here. So I've just showing it coming together. And I'll just switch the screen share back. That's all looking okay? Yep, looks good. Great. So now we'll do some real customer examples. So um, if you did like that demo, as I said, we have a 30 day trial and uh, we've great offer from, from through the Digital Boost Alliance as well. Um, but here's some real customer examples we can jump into and, and see how other providers have been successfully doing this online. So we have um, Perfection Cleaning Services. Uh, they're a cleaning company uh, based out of Manawatu. So um, didn't have a previous website and uh, came through Dazzly. Um, only spend of less than $100 uh, in the first month. Able to get, uh, I was able to get this great website up and running and representing her business. So it's an interesting case. Um, Ellie has had the website online for some time now and has, has certainly put in the work both on the website and on other online channels as well. And she's actually ended up getting some um, quite good ranks for some fairly competitive terms. So uh, it's working out quite well and definitely um, definitely generating the, the business in those early years. So as you can see here, um, as you put the name in Perfection Cleaning Services, it's reasonable to expect that you'll, you'll see it on Google, but I'll, I'll just take the screenshot and show you a few things that, that let you know that this customer is on the right track. Um, so, for example, they are a rural customer that does cleaning services. Um, and let me just see here, yeah, how do we know it's going well? So, when we put in the name of the business, it does return the first result. Now, as I said before, it can take a few weeks for this to happen. And sometimes if it, if it takes a little bit longer to get your, you, your website number one for your name, it's actually not always a bad thing. It can reflect the fact that you may have some pre-existing on information online about your business, or you may have some um, pre-existing reputation online. Um, and, and that's not a bad thing. It just means that it takes a little bit longer for the new website to get to the top. Uh, but audacity, it doesn't take very long. Um, so that's, it can be a good thing. Um, so that's the first thing that appears first in the results. Um, the second thing is that you can see here, the user has uploaded photos. And I really like these photos because they show multiple vehicles, they show the capability of the business, the logo and the brand, and uh, it just puts forward that reliability and trust that you would have always used to evaluate them as a provider. Um, the next arrow shows the Google reviews here. These are two reviews, which is, is it's a small start, but uh, the main point is that they're, they're five out of five reviews and that having something is far better than nothing and just having a few is, is substantially better um, than, than not. So it really does help you in those reviews because on mobile searches, it will pop it up in the map and it, it's just essential for some businesses. Um, the next one is on the good the description down here in the profile. It's really good. You can see they put the extra effort in to put that extra information to Google and we know that they really appreciate that. So if you, if you, once you've set up your website, you absolutely must go and set up the Google for Business, do these basic things, it's all free, and it really helps you get the visibility out there and uh, make, can make a huge difference in your first years. So again, just to drive the point home, 
Uh, this is actually searching office cleaning one of the two, so not the specific business name, and yet you will see that the business is on page one, which is a, a great result um, for a business that that, um, that I've always may have, may have believed they couldn't have obtained such a result, and uh, it absolutely is generating the business for them. All right, the next customer, jump back to the, the Real Peninsula Builders website. So as you can see here, it's, it's quite like the one that was, was put together in the, the example, except a little more up-to-date and, and, and worked. Um, Peninsula writes articles quite often on decking uh, in Whitford, or actually in a variety of topics, but it really only took one or two articles, and, and that's in a, you know, it's not even a rural location. So you can imagine a place with a, a lower population on average, um, with understandably lower competition on average, um, you can expect that really with a fundamentally strong website like Dazzling, plus a little bit of extra um, effort in writing the content, um, and take some nice pictures such as this one, one of the, one of the boys took on site, you can um, really quite quickly uh, get your website uh, ranking probably better than you ever imagined and generate inquiries. So you can see in Peninsula's case, they went from having no visibility at all um, to being ranked four for a pretty desirable term and, uh, and not too long of a turnaround, it was a medium term. And um, if, if they desired to, they could probably take it even further just by writing additional articles on, on the same topic. So yeah, it's, it's really essential, um, especially if you're a new business, um, maybe with no other points of, of reference and no existing .co NZ name. It's, um, you know, it's the case that this, this is a really good thing for you to do for your business. Um, so a small, a small uh, wormy aside is that uh, I'll show you another customer. They're, they're a rural-based customer um, who is in not a service business. Just thought it might be interesting to, to show this one that it really shows that no matter what you do do, um, you can build a website out and uh, then expand it as your business grows. So um, in this case, it's, it is a product business, but uh, the provider of mealworms and crickets uh, for, for, for animal consumption, of course. And uh, something that they may want to write about for their articles would be, um, you know, the top 10 reasons to feed your animal mealworms, for example. But um, it's really just a, a local family business. We're extremely proud to represent them online and we're extremely proud to work with them um, as their business is growing. So uh, let me tell you, they are absolutely rocking it online with their business. And I believe that uh, any of you can do the same as long as you put in the time and effort and uh, build a fundamentally wrong, strong website. Um, I've always been very conservative uh, when it comes to marketing uh, advice. And I, I, I don't try to overhype things, but I try to be straightforward. And I never ask to clients to spend money on anything, um, you know, that I wouldn't I wouldn't do myself or that I wouldn't think would be a great return for their business. Uh, what I really say is if, if you're a cleaner, a builder, electrician, repairman, if you do any sort of maintenance, home or building, really any sort of service where you do have to, to go there to do the service, um, whether you're rurally based or not, but more so if you are, you really should give Dazzly a go. You should give the SEO guy to go. You can build the entire website out uh, and see exactly what you're going to get before you commit to anything. But I'll tell you that if you build that website and you do those steps, this will work. Um, it's, as I said, I'm very conservative, but uh, my experience shows that the, the customers, essentially all across the board, if they do these things and they implement it correctly, then they will get the results that they want, um, you know, early in their business. And... Um, I think that, you know, what sometimes it's even the case that they do just build the base website and they might not do all the extra work on top and they still get a good result. Um, frankly, that just reflects the fact that the, the technologies used in the Dazzly websites uh, are really fundamentally uh, more advanced and, and will rank well, um, particularly if you have a market with, uh, with poor competition. Um, but what I really would say is um, it will work for them and, you know, let's work together to, to help as many people as we can. So. Um, reiterating the main points, uh, this advice applies to, to all businesses, but in particular those that are service businesses in rural regions. Um, if, if you are in a rural region or a lower population area, you really should take advantage of this. Generally speaking, you're going to get better bang for your buck um, for the website. And uh, when you do go ahead with a website, you know, really, if you're doing it for Dazzly, it'll only put in an hour or two of effort and uh, you can really get a lot of good results. Um, you should choose a specific service area. So be as specific about your service area as you can and also be specific um, with your service. So understandably, if you have a number of services, um, you can represent a number of niches, but maybe just start with one and just be realistic and work your way up with realistic keyword goals so you get 
um, some results. So as I said, start with a specific niche, maybe instead of doing therapy Southland, you might do um, anxiety therapy Southland, just, just try to make it a little bit more um, specific so you can get that visibility and it leads early. Um, and then get the reviews. So really just as important as the visibility is to get the, the Google for Business presence and get the reviews. Um, as I said, if there's a proximity search, if it's an urgency search, for example, the, the tap's leaking and I need a plumber, you can't be without this stuff. You will you'll really pat yourself on the back a few months down the track if you put in really only a couple of hours of time and a very small amount of money into getting the website up and running for yourself. Um, so let's just jump through. Some recommended reading. Um, I know I do put sometimes another book on there as well, but these two often make a common appearance. And the, the simple reason for this is that they're good books. Um, they have great advice on marketing, sales, and business, and um, certainly inferior to these books, but still worth reading, is our guide to website SEO, as mentioned before, and you can just watch the uh, video if you prefer. Um, additionally, that link down there is the link to the Building First Service website, if you wish to see that walkthrough uh, by me. And that's essentially it. Um, hope it all made sense, and if not, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Um, you're welcome to get hold of me directly if there's something to you about your specific situation you like to talk about. Um, otherwise, there's our basic details for contact. And I'll just leave this last bit on the screen, which is our digital boost provider offer, which we're very, very proud of. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you, hope you have some questions. Yeah, fantastic. We do have quite a few people tuning in on social media. So if you're on one of those channels, drop your question in in the comment section there and I'll pull it through um, so that we can answer it here. And this was a great session and I love when you showcase businesses like that. Big props and ups to all those businesses that got their little got the, a little bit of a spotlight, which is fantastic. We love that. Um, and we love businesses from rural Aotearoa. Um, you know, it actually is a lot of New Zealand. So, you know, in reality, I think. Um, and we want to make sure that we're supporting all y'all out there um, because it, a lot of times there's all this focus on people who are in the cities and things like that. But really, you know, um, these businesses help to make the country run. So, so we want to make sure that you guys get your time too. And please let us know if there's for specific because um, of where you're located, please let us know and we'll find the content for you. So we've got a question um, here that mm -hmm. said, did I hear you say you can build the website even before paying? Yes, that's correct. So um, sort of there's two, two reasons for that. The first reason is that um, we don't require, sorry, by we, I mean Dazzly, doesn't require a credit card upon sign up. When you sign up, you have 30 days to evaluate the software. So you can, um, as you would have seen in the menu, you can put the information in, you can build the website, you can see the preview, you can rebuild it again and again and adjust it and tweak it to get it just the way you like. And then only then, if you're happy with the website, you can decide to subscribe to the monthly plan, which is just one low monthly fee. And then naturally is the, the annual cost for the domain as well. But um, if you join our annual plan, you get the domain for free, which um, we don't talk about too much, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, that's, that's correct. And I do know that, you know, one of the things that I, I love about your ethos in your business is that you used to work with a lot of the really big players, you know, but you actually realized throughout your kind of career that small businesses is where um, your passion lies and helping small businesses to get um, online and, you know, to feel supported um, is a real major focus of who you are as a person and the company that you have created um, and why you wanted to move back into this area because um, it was real passion. So I always get really positive feedback from folks that have chatted with you because you do have conversations with people. Uh, it's really yeah. nice. <laughs> very kind of you to say, you know, I mean, the whole team, we all really like helping New Zealand business. The, the truth is, is that we, we showcase our customers um, because we're, we're only successful if they're successful. If their businesses aren't succeeding online, then um, naturally we're not successful either. So I think the truth is, is that um, besides the commercial reasons, you're right, we do have a really strong passion, everyone on the team does, for um, helping New Zealand businesses. And I think um, we've got a great tool to do it. And um, yeah, you can try it at, at no risk and we're really confident you'll, you'll like what you get. But um, yeah, we're just keen to help as, as many people as we can. We still have a lot of love for our existing bigger clients as well. But I think that the truth is, is that um, 
um, it's the truth universally, but naturally more businesses will, uh, you know, small businesses will always be the majority of businesses. That's just the natural thing. You start small and grow. And I think that um, having this bit of software, um, simply we can we can help so many more businesses this way. So yeah, we get a lot of satisfaction out of that. And there's just a follow-up comment here saying, cool, um, thanks, awesome advantages. Oh, so glad that you tuned in today, uh, Bella, to check that out. And I'm um, just checking the other platforms. That's where my eyes dart around. Yeah, no, no worries. And yeah, you can, <laughs> please feel free to get in touch um, anytime. We're happy to, you don't have to be on the paid subscription to get in touch, of course. You can just call the 0800 number. We're happy to answer any questions um, in advance of you signing up or even if you're just thinking about getting a website or thinking, oh, hey, I do this, maybe therefore perhaps I don't need a website or I think if there's something that's making you hesitate about whether you should or shouldn't get a website, um, let's have a discussion about it because I think the truth is, is that, um, you know, we certainly don't know everything and if, if there's a good reason for you to not have one or perhaps a good reason for you to spend your money elsewhere, um, you know, we, we'd hear you out and then give you, give you an honest opinion on that. But um, the fact remains is I think in my entire career, I've only really come across two or three businesses where I think it was it was fair to say that they that it, it wouldn't have been advantageous to have that public presence. Those are very specific um, outlier examples. The very much vast majority of the time, it's, uh, it's always advantageous to have a website, um, regardless of who your customer is and how you acquire them. So yeah, love to talk to some people if you have some, some interesting services out there. I know in the, since uh, moving, you know, from being a bit more centralised in Auckland too, having people all over the country, um, we do get a great variety of services and a variety of things. Um, I know, again, Mealworms is a product one, but that's one example of something you don't always see in the city. So, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff and we really enjoy having these conversations. So we'd, we'd encourage you to get in touch. I always love it when people tune in and say what kind of business they have. Like we one session we were on and um, we found out that somebody owned an alpaca business, you know, <laughs> I mean, like that's like kind of, we, 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 we do have really have a very wide range of, of uh, organizations that are members. We do have an alpaca farmer uh, using Desley. So yes, they are, <laughs> they are around, but yes, it was a, a little surprising to me at first as well. Yeah. It was a great talk about how to use video for storytelling for your business. And he was okay. talking about, you know, and that person, they said, oh, he said, uh, what kind of business do you have? Give me an example. And somebody said, oh, I'm an alpaca farmer, you know? And he was like, okay. And um, Jesse went into this whole spiel on how you could, you know, showcase that and really bring your customers in on that journey and how, mm -hmm. you, you know, you care for the alpacas and all of that kind of stuff. Who doesn't want to see videos of alpacas? I mean, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, all, it's all complimentary because you know a video like that can be invaluable i mean um yeah. you know not um not just to dazzle but to other providers as well as you can take a video like that and very easily put it on on your home page or even um in our case some of your templates uh, some of the templates we have um in fact a growing number of them um would allow you to use that video as a background which I is love awesome. that. I love yeah. that on a website, actually. I think it's really cool when you come to it and it's all moving. And I mean, for me, visually, I, I really quite enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the stats um, the stats show that it's, uh, you know, produces a, a, a superior website, of course, if, if it's done well. But the truth is, is that, um, you know, prior to Dazzly, uh, I may have brought this before, but we, we, we've had people call us from, from very large companies saying um, we had a small cafe. Uh, I believe I still told you the story before. We had a small cafe um, on, in the middle of Auckland and um, they had a video background for their website. And we had a large call from a very large financial company um, saying, uh, hey, um, how is that possible? Because my team's telling me that we can't have that, yet the small cafe cafe in, in the middle of town has it and the truth is it's actually really hard to deliver that if, if you can take a really high quality video and you can get it it's essentially you know streaming the video through to the customer's mobile device wherever they may be in the world they may be on a rural construction site they, they may even be on, on the boat in an ocean you know assuming they have some network connectivity it's part of our core competency that we're actually able to get that video seamlessly streaming to their phone so that they do actually have a great experience when they arrive on your website. And it's, um, it's a particularly hard thing to do, but luckily um, you don't have to do any of it. You can just put the video into Dazzly and it does it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's open here of, yeah, but um, yeah. Thanks, Lewis. I know we have a couple more sessions lined up. 
um, with you, including a session on your Digital Boost Alliance offer that um, Desley is a part of that we'll be featuring, I believe that is in April, April 11th, I think, yeah, um, sure. is the date of that. And we've got some other really great content coming up. Uh, what I love about your sessions, they're always really easy to follow, but you also are really thoughtful in the fact of what you put forward, um, taking into consideration the comments and the feedback and the, the questions that you get from your customers. So look forward, have a look on the schedule. If you tune in with us um, on the actual website, you can RSVP to those events. They're already up. Um, if you are with us on social media, we've now added a feature where we pin the schedule for the upcoming week to the top of the um, our page, I guess, on both LinkedIn and on Facebook. So if you ever wanna know what's happening later in the week, just check that out and um, you'll be able to see there what's coming up just so you can stay in touch and don't miss out on anything that might be of value to you. I just wanna thank you again, Lewis, for all your time that you put forward to the small businesses here um, on Digital Boost and your whole team. And uh, have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, so. Elvin.